Hey everyone, what's up? Tracy here from NoPageLeftBlank.wordpress.com coming at you with another Funko haul. Tell me you're surprised. I know you're surprised. Um, <laughs> if you watched my last Funko haul, I had mentioned that I had a Hot Topic order coming in. That order had six Funkos in it. And that was what this haul was supposed to be, six Funkos. But, <laughs> there's always a but. Uh, my husband ended up ordering me a couple because he wanted to put in an order. Um, plus, we got some when we were out shopping at EB Games. Plus, my husband put in a big order to Big Bad Toy Store, which, if you don't know, is a super cool online store uh, with tons of toys and collectibles. And they have this pile of loot thing where you can order something, pay for it. It's put aside for you, you don't get it shipped. Later on you come back, you find something else you like, you order it, pay for it, it gets set aside with the original order, and you can keep doing this and just building a pile of stuff that you have paid for and is set aside for you, but you don't ship it until you're ready, and in that way you can save a ton on shipping. So my husband was building a pile of loot for like months, and finally decided to have this one shipped and it had a bunch of Funkos in it. So, yeah, it's more than six. <laughs> Let's get right down to it. First couple I'll show you are some of the more ordinary ones. Nothing super special about them, but I picked them up to you know finish lines and whatnot. Uh, first one I'll show you is Wonder Woman. She is one of the original ones, number eight. Um, I have most, I think, of these original ones now, if not all. I might have all of them, I'm not sure, I don't, yeah. Anyway, I avoided her a couple of times because every time I found her, the paint job was just horrible. You know, some of these original pops, the quality control wasn't quite there yet, but uh, I found this one the other day and the paint job actually wasn't that bad so I decided to finally pick her up and I'll show you there good old classic Wonder Woman as you can see the paint job isn't too bad so I'm happy with that one needed to add that to the collection then this guy I actually went looking for and I was surprised to find him if you guys don't know, the original Avengers line is discontinued now, so if you see them, pick them up. Uh, I didn't have Hulk, so I actually went looking for him and was really surprised to find him. We randomly found Avengers Pops at Lawton's of all places, so we went there just on a whim to see if they had any of the ones I was missing, and there it was. There is original Avengers Hulk. He's a little bit more cartoony looking. All Funkos are pretty cartoony looking, but he's a little bit more so than the Age of Ultron one, who is more you know, ripped and scary looking. And with that pop, the only one I'm missing from the original Avengers line is Nick Fury. And I went online looking for him and I'll probably never get them because <laughs> people are asking obscene amounts of money for them. If anybody's got a double and you want to send it to me. <laughs> but barring that, chances are this will be the end of my original Avengers line. Another one of the original Funkos that we happened to come across was Superman. Number 7 Superman. Um, again, with these older ones, sometimes the paint job isn't that great, but this one actually wasn't too bad. I picked through two or three of them to find the best one. So there you go. Nice classic Superman with the little curl on his hair and everything. Not too bad. I think... Hmm. Yeah, this guy is part of series two of the originals, and this makes 
all of them for me. So that's another line completed. A couple of horror pops my husband picked up for me. The first one is Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Billy the Doll from uh, the Saw movies. I really like the Leatherface one. I think he's a really cool mold with the mask and the chainsaw and everything. The chainsaw is like actually serrated. That's pretty cool. I can't complain about him at all. He's neat. I like him. He makes a good addition to the horror ones. And there's Creepy Billy at all. Not on the uh, tricycle, but cool nonetheless. Funny story about this one. My husband picked it up at a local comic shop and my daughter loves opening these pops with me. They're, she just gets a huge kick out of them so when he was buying this one she wanted to bring it up to the counter. So when she brought it up to the counter, she's four years old, the uh, cashier was a bit, is this for you? No. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I couldn't resist picking up a couple of the flash pops from the TV show. Uh, I am actually really enjoying the TV show. It's got its problems. And my husband gets super mad every time he takes his mask off in the middle of town. Uh, but I like the show <laughs> and I couldn't resist picking up a couple. I got Flash himself, got Reverse Flash, and Captain Cold who is so awesome on the show. Just, he's so amusing. So there is Flash. Not too bad. There's a couple of uh, little imperfections in the paint job. His um, lightning bolt medallion on the front there is a little bit scuffed. But not too bad. And Reverse Flash, who is basically identical but different colors. But, I noticed, I don't know if you guys can really see there, but he's wearing his ring. So that's a nice little addition to separate the two. And of course, Captain Cold in his parka with his sunglasses and his freeze gun. That's cute. I really like him. He's definitely one of my favorite characters on the show, so I had to pick up this pop when I saw it. This next one is more for my husband than me because I didn't play the game so much. Uh, a little bit, but not much. It's the Dovakin dude from Skyrim. My husband played the hell out of this game. And I will say that he's pretty good cool. off. He's really, really nicely done with the helmet and the sword and just the outfit and everything. It's, it's an excellent paint job. There's a little bit of uh, imperfection on the back. The, his helmet is bleeding into his hair, but on the front it's pretty cool and yeah, come on. Who wouldn't want a Dovakin? <laughs> this one I wasn't originally going to pick up because I haven't come across this guy, this thing, whatever the hell this thing is, in uh, Doctor Who yet. It's Adipos. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I have not come across him yet. So I originally wasn't going to bother with the pop because I don't know who this is or what this is. But uh, upon receiving another pop that I will show you in a minute, I realized that I had the entire line except for Adipos. So why not finish the line, right? Uh, hopefully I'll come across him soon because I don't like being like a poser who has a bunch of stuff that they don't even know what it is uh, just for the sake of collecting. So hopefully I'll come across him soon. There's not a whole lot to him, but I'll take him out and show you anyway. There he is. He's got that chubby little dude, big feet and big hands and a little tooth hanging out there. He's kind of cute but I have no idea what he is yet. <laughs> Next we have two that my husband found for me and I love them for it. Uh, in a previous Funko haul, I think it was the big one. 
Hmm. Anyway, in a previous Funko haul, I showed you Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favorite shows of all time when I was a kid. Um, my husband found me Jack Skellington. He's pretty sweet. I love him so much. And to go with that, Santa Jack Skellington, <laughs> which is going to be a Christmas decoration in this household. Mark my words. So, I'm really, really happy about these. Definitely one of the best Christmas slash Halloween movies <laughs> of my childhood. So there's original Jack Skellington with his pinstripe suit and everything, holding up one hand. And here is Santa Claus Jack Skellington, looking all creepily festive. There they are together. <laughs> Super happy to get these two. So next I have a couple of PX Previews ones. Uh, they're near identical. They are the same number and everything. But uh, my husband had pre-ordered both and they both came in at the same time. So originally he was going to you know, cancel whichever one didn't come in, but they both came in at once. So I have two number 49 death strokes. <laughs> But if you look real close, one is metallic. So here's a closer look. Obviously this is the metallic one. Other than that, they are completely identical. Uh, they both have pretty good paint jobs. This one's sword is a little bit bent. But other than that, 100% identical. <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe I'll keep the uh, metallic one in the box. And another PX previews that I didn't know existed. Mirror Universe Spock. That's cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, my husband came across this one. I didn't know it existed. So it was a big surprise when I opened it up. He's pretty cool. I of course have Kirk and Spock from the, the original line. So there he is in all his glory with the phaser and everything. The uh, goatee that signifies that he's evil. Gold. Absolutely golden. <laughs> Next I'll get a ride out of the way. It is one of the only rides I, I didn't already have. Ecto-1. I think I actually said in another haul that I had Ecto-1, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> I had a little Titan figure Ecto-1. I don't know what made me think that I had the Funko ride, but there it is in all its glory, and it of course has Winston in there. Pretty sweet. It's got a nice paint job. I'm not going to take this one out of the box today because they are a pain to put back in, and my daughter will want to open it later, so I'll just leave that one in the box for today. Next one is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. I think this is the only Entertainment Earth exclusive, that's hard to say, that I have. Um, but I needed Thanos from my Guardians of the Galaxy line. He's the only one that I didn't have, and my husband ordered me the exclusive one that glows in the dark. He is so sweet. He's the big one, of course. So he towers over everybody. his glory. <laughs> he is so cool. I love him. Look at his face. He's just so smug and smarmy and like he knows. He knows how awesome he is. <laughs> and it's a really good paint job too on this one. Everything is just pretty much perfect. You know, they did a really good job on the detail of the outfit and everything. And his uh, liney chin. <laughs> 
I love him and of course it's always awesome to get an exclusive so big thanks to my husband for picking that one up for me. Now I've got a whole bunch of Hot Topic exclusives. Uh, some of these are the ones that I picked up. Uh, one or two, actually no. Only like one of these I picked up. <laughs> my husband grabbed the rest of them. So we'll start with Deathstroke Unmasked from Arrow. Uh, along with Flash, I've really been enjoying the Arrow TV show. It also has its flaws. There's a lot of drama. Just like, you know, that teen show kind of drama. Uh, it could do with a little bit less of that. But I do very much enjoy the show. And Deathstroke was definitely one of the best characters ever. So there he is, unmasked with his eye patch and his sword. Really good job on the outfit. This is a very nice looking pop. And he is, of course, a Hot Topic exclusive, the unmasked version. This one I needed to finish another line. It's Goku! The actual black haired Goku. Of course, the uh, Super Saiyan Goku is what I had. I did not have this regular black haired Goku because he's a Hot Topic exclusive and every time we would put in an order he would be out of out of stock so finally my husband managed to pick him up there he is there <laughs> with his awesome hairdo Dragon Ball Z one of the big big cartoons of my childhood still watch it today in fact um, <laughs> We just recently were watching some of the new episodes, so pretty sweet. I got to finish that line. My husband teases me about this one because I haven't even seen the Ant-Man movie yet, unfortunately, and this is my fourth Ant-Man. <laughs> I have the original, the one that looks like this but it's not an exclusive, the unmasked one and the little miniature one that came with the unmasked one in the collector core, uh, plus a little Funko uh, mystery mini. So, <laughs> got a lot of Ant Mans. <laughs> the Hot Topic exclusive, of course, glows in the dark. So, at least he's different. And there he is, there. And unlike the other ones that I bought that are the regular one, um, this guy's eyes are actually opaque. There's no black Funko eye behind there. So he is a little bit different. He does look different and he glows in the dark. And there can never be enough Batman toys in this household. So I picked up this one from Hot Topic again. Earth 2 Batman. I don't really know anything about this storyline, but I have like almost every other Batman except the rainbow ones. So why not, right? There he is. There, all black and red. Glowing red eyes. I really don't know what that's about. I'm gonna have to look it up because, again, I don't like being a poser. I don't like owning things that I have no idea what they're about, so I'm gonna have to look into this. Uh, but like I say, there cannot be enough Batman things in this house. My husband has tons. I have loads of fun codes and uh, fabrication and everything. So why not continue the trend? <laughs> and this one my husband found for me as well, and I love it. It's Harry Potter, and it is the exclusive. He's holding. I uh, got a Jerk Gryffindor's sword instead of his wand, so I really like it. <laughs> I have half been avoiding the Harry Potter line because there's a ton of them and it's so hard to finish these lines without spending all of the money. So I kind of was avoiding this one, but I knew it was going to happen. And my husband decided to get me this exclusive one, so it's all over. I've started. There he is there. Little Harry Potter. 
He's wearing his uh, school uniform, you can see the crest there, and holding Gryffindor's sword. And what's a really nice detail, I know you guys aren't going to be able to see it on there, but it does say Godric Gryffindor down the sword. So, just nice little details. Super cool. Love this guy. This next one, I don't know why it's not considered a ride, because it's not a character. It's a vehicle of sorts. <laughs> I guess purists might consider it a character in a way, but I think it should be a ride myself. It's the TARDIS. Love it. Really, really wanted the TARDIS, so my husband picked it up from Hot Topic for me. It is uh, a pre-release. It's not really an exclusive, just Hot Topic got to release it first. And I have to take a look at this. So there it is. It's pretty heavy. I'm surprised there's no bottom on it. I don't understand why there would be no bottom on it. But anyway, there it is. The police box. It's so cool. And you can see one of the doors opens. So I guess maybe that's why, now that I'm thinking of it, that's why it, there's a hole, because a Funko couldn't fit through the door, but you could put this down on top of a Funko. So, either way, so awesome. I love Doctor Who. Really got to work my way through the older ones. I'm still on the first Doctor, because there's so many episodes. But I love Doctor Who, and of course I had to have a TARDIS, especially given that I have the entire rest of the line now. <laughs> So, super glad that my husband picked this up for me. And the last Hot Topic exclusive is so cute. <laughs> I love him. He goes with my Star Wars line. And it's a big old wampa. Love him. Love him. And the Hot Topic exclusive version of the wampa is flocked. And I think he's the first flocked thing that I have. We gotta look at him. There he is. He's huge. Look at him. He's huge. And I know you guys can't tell from the video, but he is in fact flocked. He's got the nice soft fabric fur on him. So cool. Like, <laughs> I can't wait to put him behind my other Star Wars pops. Absolutely love him. So happy that my husband picked this one up as well. You notice that my husband picks up most of them? Look at you. Get over you stop girl. He's so big. Look at him, he's so angry. <laughs> so I've got five more. <laughs> and these ones also came from Hot Topic, but they aren't Hot Topic exclusive. They are summer convention exclusives. So during Comic-Con we checked out Hot Topic. They had a bunch of these. There was actually more that I wanted to order, but they were going out of stock as I was adding them to the shopping cart, so I couldn't get everything, but I did get some of them, and the ones I got are pretty cool. Another Star Wars pop. I already have the original version of this guy, but they released a metallic C-3PO, and he's really cool because he actually looks more like 3PO with the metallic coating. And there's some really nice detail, actually, on, you know, his robotic parts and the wires around his stomach and everything. So, he's pretty sweet. I'm um, really glad to have gotten him. Um, like I said, I already had the original, but it's pretty cool to have the metallic one because it looks so much more like 3PO. And this one that I got is the only one of this line that I got, but it was pretty cool that I picked him up. It is Bender, but it's Golden Bender from Futurama. And I'm going to take him out because you can't see behind the sticker. He's holding a bottle of beer. Because of course he is. <laughs> Futurama such an awesome show. Like, in my personal opinion, so much better than 
The Simpsons. Laughed my ass off at a lot of this show, and my daughter liked it for a while. And we shouldn't have let her watch it because, you know, but she liked Bender. <laughs> this is the one I was talking about that finished my Doctor Who line after the Adipose. I got the summer ex bleh. I got the summer convention exclusive of the Eleventh Doctor. I really liked this one because of what he's holding. All of the original Doctor Funkos, they're all holding a sonic screwdriver. Um, but this one, instead of his sonic screwdriver, he is holding a Cyberman head. So I thought that was neat. I really liked that. Um, it's cool that they're all holding their sonic screwdrivers, but I liked this one too because it's something a little different and obviously a reference to a particular episode. So I'm really happy with him. His head's a little bobbly. And to go with my now completed Dragon Ball Z line, the Summer Convention Golden Frieza, which is, of course, in reference to the movie where they resurrect Frieza. This is pretty neat. Um, one of my co-workers is super, super, super into Dragon Ball as well, and he lost his mind when he found out that I was getting this. There he is. Pretty cool. He's all shiny. There's his tail in the back. Really like him. Um, my daughter wasn't sure who he was because he was the wrong color, but pretty awesome. We, we've got her set straight now. She knows. Golden Frieza. Sweet. And last but not least, I saved this one for last because my daughter was super excited about it and I was super excited about it and it's really cute and so it is the last summer convention exclusive that I got. It is Rocket with Potted Groot. It's so cute. <laughs> I have almost the entire Guardians of the Galaxy line. I do not have Unmasked Star-Lord, but I have all of the other ones plus the second line that included the Collector and uh, Ronin and whatnot. So this would be an awesome little addition. There he is. Rocket's wearing his blue outfit. And I'm going to get closer so that you can actually see. There's little baby potty Groot. Isn't he awesome? <laughs> this may be one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> Look at him. So there you go, another way too big fungal haul. You guys know I'm sick, right? You know, it's, it's like, it's a disease. I have a disease. It's, it's a problem. It's, <laughs> so anyway, there you go. There's another fungal haul for you. Um, again, I'm not going to say anything because things keep happening. Pops keep popping up. I'm just going to zip my mouth and move on. <laughs> so if you liked that video, this Funko haul, let me know in the comments below. Let me know whether or not you think I'm insane. Let me know what you think about the pops that I showed today, what your favorite pops are, what your least favorite pops are. I just want to talk to you. Just comments. I'm there. And I will have some information in the description box uh, about the uh, Big Bad Toy Store in particular because you guys know Hot Topic and you probably know EB Games. But Big Bad Toy Store, pretty sweet. Uh, I will link it below because there's just tons of stuff on that website and the pile of loot thing that they do is really helpful for saving on shipping. So information below if you are interested. 
And if you've enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, keep coming back for unboxings and hauls and whatever else. I'm sick. <laughs> Bye.